Hi, so what is this strange looking mono wheel thing? What is the purpose of that wheel? Will it save me money on tires? Will it only taxi in a straight line? Is it safe? All these questions answered and more in this video. So what's with that wheel? Well, the Europa has a single wheel because it helps to get in and out of short fields and soft muddy fields because it has minimal drag from one wheel rather than three, which means less weight and less drag whilst flying as well. So yes, it can taxi and yes, it can taxi around corners. It does retract into the cockpit, which means that you get a bit of separation between you and your passenger. But when it's retracted, you get one sleek looking aircraft with great performance. So what are the disadvantages? Is that wheel safe? The monowheel Europa can be tricky to handle when on the ground in inexperienced hands, and it can be prone to prop strikes because the prop is pretty low to the ground. And it's also prone to ground looping, which means that the aircraft can spin when on the ground. And this is partly due to the lack of differential braking. At the end of the day, it only has one wheel. So this is why Europa aircraft now offer a trike configuration. The monowheel is a standout feature though, and a talking point. So which one would you choose? Let me know in the comments below. Let's take a closer look at the performance of the Europa. Cruising at 8,000 feet with 75% power, you're getting 140 knots, which is 161 miles per hour. The max cruise speed at 10,000 feet is 174 knots, which is 200 miles per hour. And because it's got the economical Rotax engine, it runs on regular mo gas fuel and provides you with 2.2 gallons per hour, that's 10 liters per hour. And at the cruise speed of 100 knots, you're getting 51 miles to the gallon, which is really good. Amazingly, you can actually get a range of 1,000 miles, that's 930 nautical miles, when in optimum conditions. So let's take a closer look at their website for their stated performance figures. You're getting a, a good G-loading of 3.8G and negative 1.9G, but the ultimate, which whatever that means, it must mean it's reinforced, for ultimate design, you're getting 8.5G and negative 4G, which is pretty incredible. This great performance and reasonable cost was all part of the design. Designed by Ivan Shaw, a fellow Yorkshireman, I'm proud to say. Europas are manufactured by Europa Aircraft Yorkshire England and supplied as kits for amateur construction to more than 27 different countries. More than 450 Europas have been completed. You can get three variations these days. You can get the Europa XS, the tri gear, which is the standard trike configuration, the Europa XS monowheel, which is the one that we're talking about here, and the Europa XS long wind motor glider as well. To be honest, the performance difference between the monowheel and the tri wheel version is minimal, where the monowheel gains a max cruise speed of 174 knots, the trike gets only up to 166 knots, but the range is basically the same. Ivan Shaw's research suggested that as many as 60,000 pilots start their pilot training in the United States every year, and almost that same number of pilots drop out of recreational aviation and are lost to the hobby for good, mainly due to the costs of aircraft ownership and rental. To save some of those pilots from giving up for good, the Europa will save you money in various ways. Firstly, the decent miles per gallon you're going to get from that Rotax engine. And of course, it's using MoGas fuel rather than the more expensive aviation fuel. The great range from weight saving and its sleek design. The ability to take off and land in short fields, which is great if you have a farm or if you want to use an infrequently maintained private airfield. You don't even need a hangar. The Europa's wings and tail unpin and then the whole Europa will fit inside of a trailer that's six foot eight inches wide and 20 feet long. That'll weigh 800 pounds. So you can basically take it home with you. The Europas in Europe are classified under the very light aircraft category, which means the maximum takeoff weight is not more than 750 kilograms and VFR only. You can visit the first prototype, which took its first flight in September 1992 at the Yorkshire Air Museum, where it is hanging as if it's flying and painted in its millennium painted colours. I've been there myself plenty of times, after all, it's up the road from me. As for the price, I've seen these Europas on the used aircraft market. The trike configuration is usually advertised for around 30,000 to 40,000 English pounds. The monowheel variants, however, are a little bit cheaper. I've seen them for usually around about 
£20,000 or more. And in the USA, there's not too many of them about, but I have seen one monowheel version in on sale in the USA for US$50,000. If you want to buy a brand new kit, I'll leave a link to the Europa aircraft sales team in the description below this video. I'm not being sponsored or anything. I just would like to see that company do really well. I like the Europa and it's a fellow Yorkshire company as well. So the Europa is a cool little aircraft, certainly a talking point with that monowheel. Let me know, would you want to buy one? Would you buy the monowheel version? Would you buy the trike configuration or would you buy the motor glider? Or is there a competitor aircraft which you, you would rather have? Thanks for watching. I'm Pilot Mike and until the next time, safe flying.